to have you with us here. Uh, great location, Sirius XM, right in the Mall of America. I would not want to be a terrestrial radio station today. Chris Carlin uh, doing his talk show on FAN right in front of a steak and shake. That would be a rough one. Um, so, I mean, it is a jam-packed group of stations up there on the third floor today, and that would be a rough talk show. I mean, I, you know, people having, uh, you know, Panda Express uh, and somebody talking and breaking down Tony Pacelli, that, or, or better yet, Andre Tippett. That would be a, <laughs> that would be a, that would be a rough one. I'll tell you, talk about Tory. Tory, I- I've never seen a guy, I've seen it now in a golf course, and I've seen it everywhere. Steve Tory looks at that phone Every single second of his life. The first time I saw Steve yesterday, when I was deep in the line on the getting through the security at the airport, and Steve was in a priority line, the first thing I saw was Steve, and what he was doing? Looking at his phone. Steve, who still is the talk of Shorehaven for looking at his phone all day for a Yankee twin score in May uh, when he played there a few years ago, he is looking at the phone. It's always, and then Steve gets off the phone and breaks down the Indiana-Purdue game like we're all wrapped up in it. Purdue will be... I mean, <laughs> anyway, I'm in a goofy mood. It'll be a good show. It'll be a good week. I'm looking forward to it. We start here, this segment, with uh, Michael in Boston. No, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, Michael in Boston. He's next here on Mad Dog Unleashed. Michael, good afternoon. How are you today? Hey, Chris. How you doing? Mike, nice to talk to you. What's on your mind now? Let me hear. Yeah, you know something? Your take with this whole Reamer thing make, it makes all the sense in the world because you're both frauds because all you and Reamer do, you've got the same idea. You just spew as much nonsense on the radio as much as possible. You have no idea the circumstances surrounding any of this. Well, Brady go ahead. Fill me in. Thing. Fill me in. He be be an educated caller and fill me in if I don't know. I'm interested. Make, he goes, no, no, you're going to listen to me. He goes I am. Thursday night and makes these comments, and then on Friday he's still on the radio. So that means he, I didn't care about it. That, you're exactly right. And then so, as soon as, so as soon as Tom Brady cares about it, so then you, then you should be killing EEI. Because, because as soon as Brady cares about it, then they care. You go on the radio and you make stuff up. You no, I don't. Stuff like Chris Mortensen t- tweets about 11 to 12 footballs, and you take it as fact, and you spew lies on the radio about the Patriots, and you can't stand it. Why? Because Brady controls what he puts out there. You want to bet? You want to bet something? I bet more people have wa- have watched his Facebook thing than watched that stupid tennis tournament you're talking about. I'll That's tell you one thing. I'll t- I'll hold it now. I'll tell you. I'll tell you one thing. More people watched our 30 for 30 than Brady's little Facebook thing. That I can tell you. That's that I can tell you. ESPN. But I, because no, 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 it wasn't. It was because it was Mike and Chris. That's why it was. It had nothing to do with ESPN. It was because it was Mike and Chris. More, well, let me ask you a question. Hold on now, Mike. You just made a comment. You made a comment, and I'm going to fight you off. You, you, picked, on, you picked on my tennis, which is fine. Who do you th- out of going on the radio and making up lies. That's all you do. You can't take it back. How good Brady is and that he controls the narrative. Who cares what you think? Who cares? Well, you do. You waited to call me. I mean, uh, I mean, somebody cares. I've been on for 35 years, for crying out loud. Who cares? And who cares? All you do, you make a living on going on the radio and making up lies. You're a complete... What lie did I make up? I didn't make up any lies. I gave you my opinion. There's not even making anything up. No, no. I gave you my opinion. Alex Reamer should have been fired last Thursday night at midnight. Well, why wasn't he? I, he doesn't work for me. Why wasn't he? Well, why wasn't he fired? Own up to us. All you people do on the radio is make up sides. Now, someone's going to have to own up to the consequences. And what do you do? You go after Brady. Oh, he handled it wrong. It's the biggest bunch of nonsense. I went after the host, too. You're not listening properly. I got And when he goes on Sunday and wins his sixth Super Bowl, you'll be on there Monday morning. Guess what you're going to do? You're going to make up more lies, more nonsense, more bull crap about how you don't like him. Oh, he's a nice guy, but... It's Boy, I tell you, you Patriot you fans, are, I'll tell you right now, you Patriot you fans, are a thank... You're fraud. You're a fraud. <laughs> All right, uh, you made the point. Anything else, you want me to, anything else you want to call me here? Go ahead. See, me and the three other million people are going to watch the next three episodes of the Facebook Live. Why? Because we respect, we respect what he does, and he handles himself the right way. You have no idea what it's about. You don't take a second to look at it. You're fraud. You're a fraud. All right. All right, Mike. Yeah, you said it enough. Let me move on. Thanks for the call. Here's Brendan in Connecticut. He's with us here on Mad Dog Unleashed. Brendan, good afternoon. How are you today, pal? What's going on? Uh, good afternoon, Mike. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to disagree with you, but not as uh, vehemently as that guy. 
All right, go um, ahead. Let me hear. I, I just, I just, you, know, just, you keep talking about loyalty. I mean, what is someone supposed to be more loyal to? You know, some radio show that he does a 45-minute interview on once a week? Not even 45 minutes, maybe 20. Or his daughter. He's sticking up for his, da- his five-year-old daughter. Well, hold on. Uh, oh, oh, fair. You that. think, if, let me I'll do it this way then. You think if Westwood One had a host who said something bad about the show or his daughter, you think he'd blow off Jim Gray? And the answer I, I don't is no. Know anything about Jim Gray? Well, I do. I do. And I the know. answer is no. Listen, the, the answer is no. The answer is he would not. No, so he's, he's got selective. Not, he's got he's selective. Ju- it's selective journalism. So if, if, if if your point is if he's got more loyal to his to his daughter, that's nonsense because he wouldn't do so Jim Gray. He would do Jim Gray if somebody from Westwood One said something. So if a friend of yours said, oh, your son really uh, stunk it up on the court tonight, would you think the same way about that? Or if He's the, but I'm not saying Callahan, I'm not saying it. Call, Callahan didn't say it. He's not his friend. Some other guy said it. Some yeah. other person said it. It's got nothing to do with Callahan. He didn't say it. A host, what is it? Callahan response? Is Callahan, hold on now, Brendan. Is Callahan or the morning show responsible for what other talk show hosts say on WEI? Absolutely not. And he didn't tell them that they said anything wrong. He was very friendly. Did you hear, listen to what he said to them? Hey, it was two minutes. I didn't hear it. No, I, I must have missed it. Go ahead. And he said, I, I'm very, I've always tried to be respectful. I always try and do a good job on your show for you guys. But I have to say, bringing up my five-year-old daughter is a deal breaker for me. And I can't comment. I well, can't why would he say it to them? Said, why did he say it he to them? Have the conversation with WEEI management. Why say it to them? They didn't say it. He wanted to prove his point. He wanted to prove his point that don't talk about my daughter. So, so well, Brady. hold on now. Brady's not going to prove his point. Anybody can talk about his daughter. I mean, uh, what, you think that's going to prevent talk shows from around the country talk, or fans not talking about his daughter? The only no, station I mean, that's everyone, not going to talk about his daughter. In the nation, right? Everyone in the nation is talking about how he did the right thing, except for one guy, and that's you. Well, all right. That doesn't, what, does that make me wrong? No, it doesn't make you wrong. It just, I just think that you're not looking at it from the sake of this is his a five-year-old little girl. It's a little girl. And this guy called her a piss ant. So he said, screw you. Don't talk about my daughter like that on national radio. And I said, and I, on my, on my, and I responded by saying, if somebody from Westwood One said that about his daughter, he would not blow off Jim. He would not blow off Jim Gray. Does he go on Jim Gray every week? Is this like a Yes, thing? every Monday night. Yeah. Half time. Every Monday night. Yes, he does. Tapes it. Every right, Monday cool. night. Listen, and he would blow. Hold on now. So, so, hold on. So, Brendan. So, in other words, then, if it's somebody who says it that he does it, that he's not that crazy about, he'll blow it off. But if somebody from Westwood One say it, he wouldn't blow off Jim Gray. So, where's the consistency? I, 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 well, I don't think anyone from Westwood One would say it. Also, well, but I that's not the you. point. Hypothetically, hypothetically, if something like that happened on Westwood One that he didn't like, he would not blow off Gray. So, where is the where is the consistency? Well, do you, do you think that maybe, we don't know the whole story. Do you think maybe he was notified this right before he was making the call? Oh, by the way, this guy made a comment about your daughter. He's like, wait. I can't, I, I can't, who knows? It sounds like he must have, this happened Thursday night. It's four days. This must have been a discussion. There must have been some discussion on this in Boston, was it not? But I do agree that he shouldn't, I, I ho- hopefully, cooler heads prevail. And he says, hey, guys, don't, don't kill this kid over me. Well, hold on now, hold on. What, what, what are you talking about? He's just killed the kid. Yeah, the kid's finished. I mean, I, I mean terminating his employment. But well, what are they going to do to him? They're not going to give him a raise. <laughs> what are they going to do with him, Brendan? The kid's out. Could you imagine? Now, the kid might, the kid might offer happened. an apology. Brady should have handled this behind the scenes quietly. That's how, if he was that upset. That is how he should have handled it. He should have had his representative reach out to WEI and said, listen, can, you, can maybe we lay off the five-year-old and maybe we can have an apology from the host who said it quietly. I, That's I how Brady should have handled it. WEI has had more clicks on its, on its website today than it has all year because he decided to prove his point in front of the nation. So, and- now, it's about, so now it's about ratings then. Well, no, you're saying it's about right. You're saying he should be more loyal to, you know, Kirk and, and uh, Callahan than to his own five-year-old daughter. So if he's going to be loyal to them, here, instead of just writing them, hey, guys, I'm not coming on. I didn't appreciate that comment. He's going to come on, let it be known that he's not happy about it. And now look what happened. We're talking about on your show instead of <laughs> Mary Tyler Moore or tennis. 
You don't like that. I, I listen, uh, Brendan. Good I love, call. I love you. I love you. I, I love am. You. I, I am not going to do the show. I am not going to not do topics because you or Michael or in Boston don't want to talk about Tiger or Federer. That, that's not what I'm here for. If the company doesn't want me to talk about certain things, sports wise, they can inform me, and then I can make a decision if I want to leave or stay. I've er- 35 years. I've earned the right on this format to do what I want, sports wise. If you don't like it, listen to EI. There's plenty of stations for you to go to. Seven in front of the hour. We continue here on Mad Dog Unleashed. Try to-